Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a um, Lego part or something that resembles a Lego part. What's interesting about this Lego part is that we can change dynamically the size and the color of this part by doing I logic. So I begin by <coughs> uh, opening the I logic tab in Manage I logic browser and I form that I previously uh, have created so I can change the number of rows the number of columns where it's, it is blue, green or red and it is big, medium or small um, I hope by the end of this tutorial you can make such a, such a piece and it will be helpful for your homework of the table All right. So let us go here to my home and let us begin by a new part, a standard millimeters part, alright. Now that you have opened the new part, the first thing you do is save the part. So let's say it's tutorial 3. Alright. Now let's make a sketch. I will select the Xeta plane. I'll fix this orientation here, so now top is alright, and let's take this rectangle, right center, and one of the edges, and then circle by the center, and like this. Then I'll take the dimension, oops, I can't see the map, uh, that's too large for a Lego piece, so let's say 3 millimeters. As you can see, Inventor has scaled down our part to 3 to millimeters. And let's take this as um, 3.5, you say. Right. And let's say this is a perfect square, so this side and this side are equal. Now that I see the piece, 3 is too little, so let's change it for 4. Then I finish the sketch. Alright, now I'll extrude this part, this profile and this profile by a distance of 2 millimeters. that's quite nice, we have a cube, very well. Then in extrusion I'll take this sketch and I share the sketch and then I can do a second ext extrusion and this time only the circle and I add material and let's say this 2.5 alright okay that's quite nice and all but uh, as we saw before it's better when I do this with parameters so let us make the parameters so I go to manage parameters and then I add numeric and let's say A to the size of the side of the right, A side of the square and I put here 4 if I not remember that oh Jesus I close this so add numeric mm, the height let's say this was 2 now, now add numeric and the diameters. This was three millimeters. And what else? And let's say the height of the circle. And let make this a function dependent of the height. So the height of the circle is the height of the square plus the um the forty percent of the height forty percent of two that gives me a that's too much let's say three twenty five percent done now I can um now that I'm in this tab I can also add for example, the number of rows, as I know 
I will be using this but this time it won't be millimeters it will be just a number so I will change this to unit less alright ok and then I add numeric number of columns once again I click here in millimeters and this um, box window box open and I select unit less unit less alright and this is right because there is an, uh, an error or mistake this is unit less so it shouldn't be in millimeters and the number row let's say just 5 the number of columns just a number 4 any number is fine um, high diameters, height of the circle, number of rows, number of columns let's add some... Uh, nah, let's just finish there enter, enter, now we will have to change the sketch one that we previously made, see the sketch and replace our annotations to the parameters we just create so I'll go to this little arrow and say list parameters. So this is the A side. So A side, enter, let's go. All right, I remember correctly. And another way to do this is just writing uh, the parameter. In this case, diameter, which is dia. But don't. If you spell it wrong, it will be red because it doesn't identify the parameter, so you have some mistake there. Or if you write such um, uh, a function, you should write as well um, the mathematical operations to make this correct. For example, if we want this to be three times the diameter, we will be using three pl uh, times with the asterisk diameter. But in this case, it's just diameter, so diameter is fine. So we finish the sketch there. Now I can get rid of this. Just say visibility off. Oops, didn't work. Ah, show some. No, no. Now here in uh, a D desk group. I will change this extrusion to these parameters once again. This is height. So there is a mistake because I wrote it wrong. So okay. And the second extrusion I will change this as well in the feature. Once again, I'll select the that is from meters, the height of the circle. If I, that's right, that's the one. So if we want to change the parameters, I don't have to go inside of the sketch and change the things. We can always change this here. So for example, 5. You see, it changes automatically. Or, oops, sorry. Let's say let's we do four and let's say here the height is not two but eight so it changes automatically. Okay. But now let's just return to our two very nice and clear two. So that's about it. Now, for the new operations, I return to 3D model here in the top, and I would say here in pattern a little a linear pattern. I'll select in this case solids. We want to multiply solids, not the features, and I select the direction one and direction two. To select the axis of direction, I'll go here to the folder origin and open it and select the x-axis and the z-axis how do I know this? well, 
here in the bottom left corner you can see uh, our three axes x, z and y and I want to multiply this in the x axis and in the z axis so I'll select in the first direction so I select this red arrow and say um, in the z axis why not and in the x axis in this direction um, this is fine and all but this is too uh, the distance between these two parts is too large so I'll fix this I'll say the distance is the other side how about that if I say this the next part will be exactly at the A side distance from the previous so it begins by who oh, is my now now begins in this side of the part and we'll count a side times here and we'll begin this part here mm, it's fine by me and it's not two it's the end rows for example the same goes to the other direction so I know it's not end rows but add columns and it's not a side but it's not 10 millimeters but a side Alright, okay. So now I have my model. 